Hi, I'm Robert, I'm a threat analyst at Reversing Labs, and today I'm going to show you how to analyze a malicious Word document. Phishing and malicious emails are one of the most common attack vectors nowadays. It's customary to receive an email with a malicious attachment. These attachments can be, for example, executable files, they can be document files, or some other form of active content which might jeopardize your environment. During research, we encountered a suspicious email with a suspicious looking attachment. We uploaded this attachment to our system and after analysis, it proved to be a type of malicious word document. On the submissions page of the A1000 platform, we input the SHA-1 of the sample to be able to access it. It was locally downloaded one day ago and it has a classification of being a document word, a Trojan, a Fourier type. What that specifically means, we'll have to dig deeper to understand. On the summary page, we can see a brief overview of what this document is. Like previously stated, this is a Microsoft Word document, and in the Storyteller portion of the summary page, we can see that it contains embedded objects and uses scripting, which typically means that it has VBA macros embedded within it. If we scroll down a bit, we can see that some of these macros have been depicted here, with some of their indicators displayed in the right-hand pane. We can see that some of these macros download a file, execute a file, might use native system APIs, which a typical macro should not do. Titanium Core also confirms our suspicion, and its Titanium Core RIC engine classification confirms that this is in fact a type of a Word document, probably some kind of a Trojan. To get a brief understanding of what this document can do, we can visit the indicators page. The indicators page can give us a brief overview of what this document can do due to its active content. So we can see that some of the indicators depicted beforehand on the summary page are now all aggregated in this single view. So this document will probably download a file since it contains some URLs. It will try to execute a file, which is probably enough to say that this is malicious. From a classification standpoint, you would probably not go deeper than this. However, if you really wish to understand what this file does, some deeper analysis is needed. So we can go to the extracted files portion. In the extracted files portion, we can see some of the data that's typical for Microsoft Word documents and the macros folder. We open the macros folder and see that this particular macro has been classified as malicious. We can open it and take a look to see what's present in the macro. Most of the indicators seen on the document portion are here as well. Downloads a file, contains URL, executes a file. So probably this is the main component of the malicious macro. We can take a brief glance at the interesting string section. And we can see that there is an HTTP URL which points to a text file. That's not as suspicious as having a macro pointing to an executable file. However, we need to see how this is used specifically in this macro. To see how this macro looks like in plain text, we can click on the display sample. On the display sample, we have two views, the hex view, which is customarily used to view bytes, and the preview pane, which displays all of the content like it was in a text editor. So scrolling down, we can see that on document open, so that means when the document is open, it will try to manipulate the visibility of the window, perform some obfuscation scatenations or something else. This is customarily used to avoid antivirus detections or to confuse emulators. And we can see here that it issues a command download file from this specific link. It downloads in the temporary location with the name intel.txt. Then it tries to read files line by line, tries to permute it in a certain way, probably either decrypt or rearrange in some certain way, and then it outputs the file again as intel.exe. This can be seen specifically here. It tries to permute a file in a certain way, either decrypt it or split by specific characters or some other form of deobfuscation. And then it tries to dump that file into another temporary file called intel.exe as a binary file, which can be seen here. Finally, it executes the payload. And from that point on, 
we should analyze this specific executable file to see what it does. By returning back to the extracted files view from the parent sample, we can also see a separate VBA module called module one. If we open this module and take a look how it looks, we can see that there are many Windows native APIs, such as Internet Open, Internet Read File, Open URL, and so on. These are actually used to download the sample because download file as a function doesn't exist in VBA by itself. Rather, in this case, it is implemented by using Windows APIs. So in this case, we can say that the thread type of this document is not Trojan, it's a downloader. And what it downloads needs to be analyzed separately. This sums up the analysis of this malicious document. Thank you for watching and hope to see you soon.